What's up, everybody? Josh from the lab here. And today I wanted to address something uh, that had been going on in the Sebastian Rogers case. Uh, one of the more egregious rumors, and I was definitely curious about it. And, uh, you know, there have been a lot of rumors. There have been a lot of speculation, accusations, uh, you know, just a lot of stuff, you know, that a lot of people are divided on whether that it helps or whether it doesn't. And, you know, everybody's got an opinion, including me, and I feel a certain way about the case. And I think you probably can kind of infer uh, from my coverage what that is. However, I have no proof. I don't know. Uh, I wish I did like everybody else. And we're all kind of waited with bated breath to see what happens in this case with young Sebastian Rogers now missing, uh, going on six weeks from Hendersonville, uh, Tennessee from his home, uh, late February. Now you hear these rumors that there are definitely two different ways that parents, that, that households are kind of treating what's going on and you know you have one family that may maybe you know and people will say well they're not doing anything they're not searching they're not anything and maybe maybe all that's true and and uh, you know you're not going to get an argument from me there but you know maybe they're content with having law enforcement search that they have faith in law enforcement you know and then you have Seth who who is actively uh, searching for his child uh, which is, I think, what most people probably would choose to do. But, you know, everybody's not everybody. And, you know, people react differently. And, you know, it's hard to speculate why people act the way that they do in certain situations. But it doesn't exactly give off great optics. Now, the one of the biggest. I would say the biggest rumor, but one of the most egregious rumors that I had heard, and I thought it was so startling that I actually just asked uh, Chris Proudfoot about it, but is that, th that there's a video of Chris Proudfoot going around and taking down flyers, missing flyers of Sebastian. And I said, there's... That, I mean, that, that just can't be true. That can't be true. Even if he was guilty of something, there's no way that he could be caught on camera taking down flyers. Is there? So I asked. Now he finds it comical, he, you know, and I, I did state that this is the rumor that's going around and I just flat out asked him and I take his word for it. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people that will say, well, I don't believe a word that he says and fair enough, you're allowed to feel that way. And once again, I'm not going to argue with you about it. You know, when you get asked so many questions, so many times, there's going to be inconsistencies. I'm not particularly fond of the way that they have reacted with Sebastian going missing, but once again, I have no proof of anything, nor does anybody else at the moment. But I'm going, there's no way that this guy would take down flyers, especially after the revelation that Seth said that, you know, if the sensitive subject matter that was talked about came to light, that people would stop searching for Sebastian. Now, that is what Seth says uh, was told to him by Chris. I didn't ask about that. I don't know if I don't know Chris's side of that. I only heard it from from Seth. Now, like I said, it, it, I I don't. I'll t I take I take Seth at his word as well. I mean, that would be one of those things where you could just ask Chris, and you know, I don't know, I don't know. But once again, back to the Flyers. There's no way, no way, this guy is caught on camera taking down flyers. And he unequivocally denies it. He gets a laugh out of it. He says, that's awesome. 
Uh, he's probably hurt a lot. So, you know, his reactions, his reaction, but he denies it. Fair enough. And the reason I was, so then I started thinking about it I, be, before I asked him, cause I go, well, there is a way that this could happen. And here's the way. Maybe he was taking down flyers that had misinformation on it or an outdated photo, or they, they weren't the ones that Ellie, this or that. So I was thinking, well, you know, maybe there's, there's an explanation. If he did do this, maybe there's an explanation for it. He says he didn't do it. Once again, I'll take him at his word. Uh, the one thing that I do find troubling uh, in this case is that the parents, um, the two different households are, are so divided. And I've never seen I've never seen a child case where the two families are divided and one family isn't at least in on whatever the malfeasance is. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I, you know, you don't have any, but if, if this truly was a runaway situation and it very well still could be, or something more sinister, if you were as uh, such a cohesive unit that as was claimed at the beginning, you think that you would be helping each other and, and kind of comforting each other. And that couldn't be more, that couldn't be, it couldn't be more opposite. It's completely divided. The communication is stopped. And that's a huge problem. It's a huge problem for both sides. It's a big, big, the bigger problem for Sebastian. And I'm not criticizing Seth because I believe what he has done is what most of us would do. Chris and Katie seem to have gone a different route. They were feeling pressure and that they left. Uh, I don't know where they're at now and I don't care. That's up to them. They can do whatever they want. They can do this however they want. They can deal with this however they want. You know, optics be damned. They're not so much concerned about that. But, you know, it is strange when you hear Katie say things like, we will find Sebastian. And she's speaking like we as in law enforcement, because you can't find somebody if you're not looking for them. And if she thought that he ran away, I think that there would be more urgency to be checking places that you would think that he ran to. Um, but once again, that doesn't seem to be the case. Again, one of the big questions is, where was Christopher Proudfoot? Now, he says he was at work. Law enforcement declined to verify his quote-unquote alibi. Uh, I, I've, in, in certain instances, I have heard them say, yeah, like, this person has an alibi or this person has an alibi. I mean, they haven't cleared anybody including Seth, nobody's cleared and, and I, they won't clear anybody. That's just not really how it works. Um, but I think most people understand that it, there's not going to be any clearing until Sebastian is located. Uh, suspicion will remain rampant. You know, and I, when I, when I spoke to Chris, uh, you know, he, he said, you know, this hasn't slowed down this, the, I don't know if he called it a circus, he, something along those lines, but he said, you know, this hasn't slowed down and it won't slow down uh, until Sebastian is found. And I said, look, man, like I said, you know, it's, it's possible that, that Sebastian may never be found. And the circus or whatever you want to call it that comes along with it doesn't go away. He agreed. It's very possible. I hope that's not the case. I hope that Sebastian's found. And I hope that my gut feeling is wrong. I just think that there are more answers in them that either they haven't told police or maybe they have told police. Lying to the public is not a crime. Just not. Does it help the faith that 
is instilled in uh, the people? No, it doesn't help anything. It doesn't help. It doesn't help dampen, uh, you know, worst case scenario fears. It doesn't help dampen uh, suspicion when suspicion is always at an all time high. Uh, when you're the last person to be around a missing or somebody who goes missing, specifically your child, specifically your child that has special needs um, that really does look to you for, you know, constant care, I, I would assume. So with that being said, uh, this case is an absolute mystery to everybody. Uh, it seems as though law enforcement is either stumped completely and they're chasing leads or they have everything they need and they're not asking anybody for anything. Only time will really tell. I hope that they have everything that they need. I hope that my suspicions are, are unwarranted. Um, you know, I'm, I don't have, I don't have the instincts of, you know, Sherlock Holmes, but it doesn't feel something's not right. Obviously Sebastian's gone. Um, I, one of the things that uh, I don't know, and this may just be a rant for rant's sake, but you know, I see people who are going, how is this helping? How is, knowing damn well that the, the, the question that they're asking, they're looking to get an answer from somebody going, well, it doesn't help anything. And they're like, yeah, how does, that, how does asking that question help anything? It's like, geez, man, that's an original question. How does this help find anybody? How does this help? Oh, my God. Obviously, you feel it doesn't help. What do you want? You need everybody to cheerlead for you? No, just feel how you feel. What's the big deal? Feel how you feel. You're allowed to have an opinion. If you don't think it helps, it doesn't help. But you, you need everybody else to kind of, do you like this song? Yeah, I really like this song. You do like this song? Yeah, I like this song. How much do you like this song? I like this song a lot. You agree with me, right? Yeah. It just gets old. Thank you for listening. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Thanks.